If your website is your home on the internet, your domain is like your address. It's the thing you share so people can actually visit you. Now, if you want a domain, you have to get it from a domain registrar. They're kind of like a landlord who rents out virtual addresses. No I can give you half. But not all landlords are the same, right? Some might offer better amenities or be more responsive when problems arise or have stricter security measures. Different domain registrars offer different experiences. And just like you wouldn't want to rent from a sketchy landlord who doesn't take care of their property, you wouldn't want to get your domain name from a registrar that doesn't offer features your website needs to be secure and successful. Ahead, you'll learn which factors are most important when choosing a registrar, and you'll hear our top five recommendations based on those factors. So what kind of features should you be looking for? The top five most important factors for most people are price, customer support, domain management tools, security, and domain transfer policy. Now, before I explain each of those, one of the first things you should determine is whether or not a domain registrar is ICANN accredited. The Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, or ICANN, makes sure that internet addresses are properly managed so that each domain name is unique and people are able to get to the websites they're looking for. They're kind of like traffic control for the internet. ICANN accreditation is voluntary, but because of their strict standards, it means that an accredited registrar is likely more trustworthy, reliable, and financially stable. You can find out if a domain registrar is accredited by visiting ican.com slash en slash accredited dash registrars. The registrars I'll share in this video are all on that list. Now let's talk about the factors you should consider when selecting a domain registrar. Price. Some domain registrars offer the same domain names at lower prices than others, so it's a good idea to check out different ones to see which fits your budget. Sometimes things like security and customer service are factored into the price. If the prices are really low, that could mean hidden fees or poor customer service. So it's important to understand not just the price, but what you're actually paying for. Customer support. You want a registrar that has excellent customer support so that if you have any questions or issues, you can easily get in touch with their team. Things to look for are what types of support are available, like phone, email, or chat, when it's available, and if there are any fees for premium support. Domain management tools. These handle things like domain forwarding, DNS management, and domain locking. You want a registrar that has a user-friendly dashboard that makes it easy to manage your domain settings. Security. Security can include features like two-factor authentication and domain locking to protect your domain from hackers and other threats. Domain transfer policy. If it's possible you might transfer your domain to another registrar in the future, you want that process to be as smooth as possible. You want to look for registrars that offer a straightforward transfer process and don't charge extra fees. Depending on your business, there may be other factors to consider, like whether or not they also offer web hosting or have a website builder or additional marketing tools. But the five factors mentioned here are a great place to start. All right, now that we know what to look for in a domain registrar, let's take a look at some of the top registrars based on those factors. First on our list is Namecheap. Domain names from Namecheap can start as low as 99 cents per year. Their customer support is available 24 seven and can be reached through support tickets or live chat. They've got a user-friendly dashboard for managing your domain. They offer two-factor authentication, checking the security box, and they have a straightforward domain transfer process. They don't offer phone support and their domain prices can go up significantly after the intro period but you get a free SSL certificate for your domain for the first year, which is a great deal. If you're looking for something low cost to help you get started, Namecheap could be a great option. Next is GoDaddy. GoDaddy also offers domain names at affordable prices and frequently runs promotions and discounts. They have a straightforward user-friendly interface for domain registration and management, and also offer 24 seven customer support via phone, email, or live chat. GoDaddy also provides features like domain forwarding, DNS management, and domain locking, as well as security measures like two-step verification and malware scanning. GoDaddy offers a wide range of additional services beyond domain registration, such as website building tools, website hosting, and marketing services. On the downside, you'll have to pay extra for domain privacy, and some users have reported frustrating experiences with their domain transfer process. If you're looking for a registrar that offers additional services that you don't mind sticking with for the long haul, GoDaddy might be a good fit. Up next, Domain.com. Domain.com offers a wide range of domain extensions 
at a low introductory price. They have excellent phone and live chat support, and their dashboard is user-friendly, allowing you to manage your domain name easily. Domain.com offers features like domain forwarding, DNS management, and domain locking, and they have a straightforward domain transfer process. Like GoDaddy, you will have to pay extra for domain privacy, but if you're looking for a web address outside the typical .com realm, Domain.com gives you many options to choose from. Our fourth pick is Name.com. Name.com offers affordable domain names, especially when combined with hosting. They have ticket and live chat support, although their chat support is only available during certain hours. They have a fairly standard dashboard that's intuitive enough for new users, but functional enough for more advanced users. Name.com also offers a free SSL certificate and two-factor authentication, and they have a straightforward domain transfer process. Even though they're a bit lighter than the other options on security and support, they could be a good fit for users who are looking for a registrar with a hosting option and more flexible billing options. Finally, we've got Google Domains. Google Domains is a relatively new registrar with transparent and fair domain pricing. They're a bit pricier than the other options, but they do offer domain privacy for free. Their dashboard is easy to use and they're backed by advanced security features so you can have peace of mind knowing your domain name is safe. Domain transfers are simple and straightforward should you choose to move your domain in the future. Google Domains offers a more limited selection of domain extensions, doesn't have a hosting option, and has lower customer service ratings than their competitors. But if you're familiar with Google products and you wanna work with a bigger company with more robust security features, Google could be a great option. So that's our list. As I said before, these are based on the factors we shared earlier, but there are many other registrar options out there that might be a better fit based on your specific business needs and preferences. Just to recap, here's some good things to keep in mind as you're looking for a domain registrar. Research and compare prices and features. Look at what kind of customer support is offered and when it's available. Check their domain management tools for ease of use and functionality. Look for registrars that offer robust security features. Check the domain transfer policy so you'll know what to expect should you choose to transfer your domain in the future. We hope this was helpful in guiding you towards selecting the best domain registrar for your website. Congratulations on taking these first steps getting your website up and running. Coming up, we're gonna take you through some next steps towards setting up and building your website. See you in the next video.